Hello everyone, my name is Aang Redbeard, and today uh, we're going to play Dead in Bermuda. That is a hard word to say. Uh, I saw it on Steam for free, or not Steam, something, uh, for free. Um, I'll get the name of it and I'll link it in the bottom. Um, but yeah, I no, uh, saw a small preview, said okay, I'll give it a try. I want you guys to be there for the adventure with me. Uh, just ahead of time, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, like it if you do, if you don't, oh well, that's be the last time I say it for this video. Alrighty, let's get started. New game. Well, that's kind of cool, I think. It's 3D thingy. Empty. I'll watch the whole thing. Straight for the island. Hmm. I don't know. Gathering survivors. Crying a <laughs> Covering from the shock. Don't you recover from the shock? Then cry a lot. Salvaging scattered goods. Getting up a camp. Setting up. Wow. Fucking read, dumbass. A few hours after. Hey everyone, let's group. Re let's regroup and talk for a bit. Hopefully, I don't have to fucking read the whole time. Click to continue. Thank you everyone for the help in making camp. It's a heartwarming. It's heartwarming to see what we are sticking. Yeah. Jesus. It is heartwarming to see that we are sticking together after the you know horror that just happened. Let's take a moment and introduce ourselves, since we may have to live together for a while now. I'm Alice, 45. Yeah, you look 45. And this is my husband, Robert. We... Wait, that's Robert? Okay. Oh, we come from Montreal. I love hiking, cooking, and I'm pleased to meet you all. Well, you're going to be doing a lot of hiking. I don't know about cooking, though. Hold on. Unless you can pull some shit out of the berries and shit on this island, we'll see. Oh, oh, Bob Orr. Uh, okay, Bob. You can call me Bob, guys. Don't know what to say. I like to tinker a bit at home. Oh, and going fishing on Sundays. Okay, so you're my fishing guy. But, I like his simplicity, but I mean... Okay, thanks. So, my name is... Alejandro, I'm 32. Y'all might remember me and the manager of the holiday resort we all are staying in. The flight was my first holiday in 10 years, so yeah. You look fucking broke as shit. I bet you don't have a girlfriend. Watch. Hi, I'm Dr. Bethany Winters, who from London, England. If you need medical help, please come see me. Well, you know, I have a, a severe rash. Somewhere. You, you want to rub some ointment on it? Oh, what's. Dot, dot, dot. You like her, don't you? Remember, my dad doesn't speak much. Please excuse him. I'm Ilana. 16. We're coming from a small village in Russia. Ah, and Julia married my dad last summer. Okay, uh, first off. You're from Russia. You're the reason the plane went down. Just kidding. Alright. Julia. Oh, okay. Snobby little shit. Hello, everyone. Uh, everything... What? Hello, everything's already said. Don't expect me to reveal my age or I should have to silence you forever. Well, let's say 50. Because you're stupid. Just kidding. She's not stupid. She's just... I can tell women that don't want to give it their age or stuck up and assholes. Not all of them, no. Are we finished? We're wasting precious time. We must organize ourselves. I'm Jacob, and I know how to survive in the hostile environment. This is something I've spent my whole life preparing for. Really? Your whole entire life? A plane crash. 
rarest thing ever. While you were all uselessly crying, I went around and found a large water tank containing clear water and enough resources to make a fire. You're right, Jacob. Before we continue, I'd like to suggest that we take a moment of silence in honor of those who didn't survive the crash. They will haunt my nights until I leave this world. Yeah, that's a lot. Alright, effects. Ten wood, two stone, one tinder, Alejandro's depression. <laughs> kind of like mine. Uh, Elana's depression. So they all got depressed. As I would too. Okay. This is a camp view here you can assign a character to act in and perform during the day. You can move your mouse left to right to view all the camp. Characters are assigned to action slots. Right now they are all assigned to the campfire's action slots, which is talk. To move a character, you can either drag and drop him in a new slot or right click him and click again on the desired action slot. Put this up a little bit, just right there. Stop moving. Okay, thank you. Move a character from the campfire to the scavenge action slot at the plane, far left of the camp. Okay. Uh, let's see here. This snobby bitch, I'm gonna make her go. Uh, Salvage right there. Make her do that. This character will search the crash site for useful resources, but beware. Seeing the dead passengers' corpses will increase their depression state. There are five states in the game. Hunger, depression, sickness, injury, and fatigue. If any of these re reaches 100%, the related character will die. Move two other characters in the search action slots at the library. That must be the library. Yep, that's the library. Whoop. Okay, she... She looks smart. She's on a book. She's wearing a cute little blue dress. And we will make... Hmm. Wait, she was a 16 year old. Oh, she's off limits. And she's, yeah, she's, she's off limits. Winter, she's the cute one. Alright, so I'm gonna make her go read in the book area. These characters will search for new crafting plans. Once the progress gate reaches 100%, will yeah, they'll discover a new recipe. Bear in mind, I don't read good. Pretty sure you already know that. The efficiency of every task is tied to a specific skill. Every character has different strengths and weaknesses. But for now, move three other characters to explore action slots at the jungle. Try to find the best combination. Best combination. Okay, this old guy was ready for this. So we put him out in the forest. Fatigue. Hmm. Make all the... This guy needs some exercise. Make him go. I shouldn't be saying that because I need some exercise too. And this big dude, he's gonna go right here. All three of them. These characters will explore the island. You can select which square to explore by clicking on the jungle and then clicking on the corresponding action and action wheel. I'll say we'll explore randomly. Last thing to do now is make a fire. Craft new things, your camp. Click on the workshop, then click on choose crafting recipe and select the recipe you want to craft. Click on the workshop, select choose craft recipe, select the craft. Okay. What is this? Select crafting. Big chunk. But each craft recipe consumes resources and can get by scavenging the plane and the island. To unlock a new recipe, you must discover them first. Excuse me. 
With the research action at the library, you conveniently have the exact amount of resources to craft the campfire, so the crafting will start once you assign characters to the craft action. Craft action slots at the workshop. She's kind of cute too. Well, whatever. Anyway, okay. Looks good. Everyone is assigned to a test. Let's now advance the advance the time and see the results of your actions. The game is composed into two phases of daytime during which you can freely assign characters to tasks. And first phase, phage. First phage. First phage. In first phase. Of nighttime, and one phase of nighttime. Two phases. Oh, okay. I see. Two phases. Daytime. During. Okay. Whatever. When you are ready, click on the next button. Okay. Rope. Oh, a rope. Tasty meal. Scavenging. Meal. Fruit. Fabric. Pillow. Ooh. Coffee cup. Fatigue, holy shit. Wood, stone, tinder. Yeah. scavenging enough resources crafted select the new available recipe in the workshop and click OK Whoa. Okay, so do you convert fruit into water? Water is very important. Sorry for not reading, Jesus. Water is very important if your supplies reach zero, it's game over. One can't survive very long without water, so make a good use of those fruits. <laughs> your characters are a bit depressed. Right now, you can lower their depression by making them talk around the campfire. We'll release two characters on the talk action slots at the campfire. I tap my mic. I think I'll go ahead and make some people talk. What I really want to do is I want to get... Ooh, start drama? Do I want to start drama? No, these guys have been working on so... This guy over here. And this guy over here, because we need to. Oh, 
You can lower your stats of your characters in different many ways. One of the more direct approaches is to use a special item in their use special items in on them for an instant effect. In order to do that, click on a character and then you use item action. Coffee cup. This guy looks really fucking depressed. Don't forget to use your special items, they will make your life much, much easier and they are available for everyone. You also discovered a new area of the island, let's see what's there. New area. Oh, okay, so it's like a top down, you explore, blah, blah, blah. Oh, when you send your characters exploring the island, you unlock new areas, you can be visited at any time. Oh god, I don't know what's going on. On each square, there's an object. Their locations are randomized in each new game. Characters can freely interact with the object. It does not pass time. Instead, you have a chance to be attacked by a nasty beast, depending on how stealthy the chosen character is. When you are finished with the object, go back to the camp and click on Next. Boy suitcases. Inspect. You find a suitcase containing certainly coming from the plane crash. Does it belong to anyone who survived? Does it matter anymore? Okay, let's go ahead and open it. Uh, just in case she gets mauled or blown up. Painkiller, good. She's gonna need it. Shove it up her ass. Ah. Uh. Oh, I gotta get her out of there because she's gonna be really unhappy. I just, I'm not looking at you guys, I'm sorry. <sighs> oh, they don't like reading? What the fuck? What the hell was that? Okay, good everyone. I know it's hard, but scavenging some food from the damn plane. Hold on. That is so weird. Okay, whatever. Okay, everyone. Good work, everyone. Oh, okay. Good work, everyone. I know it's hard, but we scavenged some food from the damned plane. I'm sure we'll find more if we continue to search the wreckage. But it will only last for a few days. After that, we will be on our own. Anyone know how to hunt? I do. Of course, the old man does. But not with my bare hands. What do you need? A spear? Uh, we'll need to find some... We'll need to find or craft some tools that share the food we found. We should ration our daily meals. And water too. Without water, the average person dies after only three days. You are looking very unhappy. With your succulent lips. Uh, frightening thought. Well, no shit. 
Don't worry, we can make juice out of fruits. The island is covered in jungle. We'll find Penny. Plenty. Yes, this is a very good idea. Melania. Melania. Elyon. Uh, oh, whatever. We'll need plenty of those if you want to survive until help comes. You're stranded. You ain't getting no help. What help? Exactly. Julie gets it. Alejandro. Dot, dot, dot. We should at least try to reach the jungle. Maybe somebody lives here. Yes. And if we find a big tire. Tire? If we find a big tire, we're dead. Big tire, we're dead. Dot, dot, dot. You and your dot, 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 man. Well, tomorrow's another day. Good night, everyone. Good night, Alice. Generally, each night your characters will chat with each other, and there are conditions, randomized elements, which trigger some of these dialogue events, so you won't always have the same discussions each new game. You may now share the food between your characters. Each food has its own nutritional value. All perishable food is a chance to degrade each night. Choose what you eat wisely. Drag and drop meals on your character and click on next when everyone is fed. Well, I will feed everyone. How many up? There's eight, right? So we'll just give one to you. One to you. One to you. One to you. You're gonna have our time. One to you. Okay, she did. I just didn't have it over. Oh shit, I'm wasting this one. Whoopsie. Oh, I should have cheese that one. Alright, well, whatever. That's fine with me. No, I'll just save that for, uh... Whatever. Uh, fire intensity, negative 23%, 77 remaining. Water supplies, negative 8, 59 remaining. One out of your two tasty meals have degraded into meal. One out of three meals have degraded into barely edible stuff. Alejandro is depressed 21% and sleepy 20%. Melania is moody. Oh, uh, we know why. 18% and sleepy 18%. Jacob is moody. Yeah, we also know why. 11%. Winters is moody. God, everyone's moody. Yuri's moody. Julia is depressed. And tired. And Elise. Or Alice. Is depressed. 22%. I'm scared about Julia. Which one's Julia? Winters is the one I want to save. And uh, this one I want to save too. But we all know why, like... Except for Jacob. I don't know why Jacob's moody. Eh, whatever. Alright, okay, I don't care anymore. Alright. Well, everyone, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. Um, let me know what you think. Probably really boring. and You're probably going to come and say, You need to learn how to read, dumbass. And shit like that. But you know what? Fuck it. Put whatever you want. Any comment is a comment. I really don't care. I really want to know your feedback. Even if it's the worst thing in the world. Let me have it. Um, but yeah. That's it. You guys have a wonderful day. See you guys in the next video. Oh, and uh, hopefully we'll be playing uh, Dark Souls. It's been out for a while, but it's a hard game, so let's play it.